thanks for that. Okay, I hope we're ready to get thoroughly freaked out, because that's what I think what's coming. Back in time. Okay. Don't look into his eyes. I don't know what com what's coming, but at the same time, I kind of do, you know? Because the deepest darkness dwells in his eyes. Come in, my son. <clears throat> Did you think you could hide these books from me? They're just classic philosophy books, Father. Plato and Aristotle. Silence. Instruments of falsehood, you mean. Fallacies. Coming from the snake. Now, son, get on your knees and raise your arms. Apologize to the Lord. Pray to the Lord. It's a little interesting. Malum in se, evil in itself. Okay, we've got an eye. Was, was, was that there a second ago? Okay, another eye. Eye of the bird. Are these birds splattering against the windows? <clears throat> Don't look in his eye. Don't look in his eye. Don't look in his eye. <sighs> Lord, your eyes burn me. I don't deserve mercy or forgiveness. O oh Lord, have mercy on my soul. Who are you sending me? Is death to whom you are handing me over? Has my hourglass already run out of sand? Father Ernest. Ernest. It's been many years since I last heard that name. Since... Oh, I see. Father, I'm he here to be able to remember. You have to help me, I beg you. Please, entreaties. Petitions, praying, torment, exemption. Pastimes bring us just misfortune and pain. Father Ernest, I was one of your students. One of my old students, you say? It's only the Lord who teaches us. We all must follow his ordinances and disciplines. Get closer, son. Come pray next to me. Oh, I really don't want to. Oh, gosh. I've got no choice. Um... A creepy image of Christ crucified. Inexplicably, it has a dark cloth covering his head. He has a large burn covering his eyes. He's completely blind. Despite his decrepitude, extreme thinness, and paleness, I can still recognize Father Ernest, but he seems far away, like in another world. <clears throat> Glory to be to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be. Now, my son, tell the Lord which is worse, or which one is his voice, the sharp sword, the wise quill, or the delicate petal? sharp sword? The sharp sword. Yes, yes, that's it, my son. The Lord with his sharp sword transmits us his wisdom, his power, and his punishment. Now, my son, tell the Lord which one is his holy path, the wise virtue, the endless blame, or the blessed penance. Um, well, he preached wise virtue, exhorted others to penance, but his path was perfection, so endless blame, right? Like I said, I'm not up on my Catholicism, so, um, endless blame? Nice, nice. Nostra culpa infinitia est. You know, the great part about Latin is because it's a dead language, um, you know, if you say I pronounced it wrong, I can just say, well, how would you know? Always is and always will. Now, my son, tell the Lord who you are, the faceless pilgrim, the gate guard, or the lost seaman. 
Um, faceless pilgrim. <laughs> um, can I try it again? Okay. Is th oh, don't tell me that I ruined it. The bird eye. Okay, so I've got to wait till he moves. me. Dear God in heaven, I feel for you. Your light is in my eyes. I will burn them for you. I feel your eyes are in my soul. I will burn it for you. Source. I hate myself. Blame is in your heart. I will burn myself for you. I don't, I, I don't, I don't know what else I'm supposed to do in there. A razor. Um, the razor is probably going to be sharp enough for me to cut that tapestry in the old dormitory. Upstairs. Right. Birds. Am I right? Alright. Let's do this. I wouldn't be using the razor. My hands wouldn't have enough strength. Okay, so combine it with the log. Using the wooden stump as a handle, I can use this to cut. Nice. Okay. Back in time. And finally, our expert on philosophy, Jeremiah Devitt, shows up. Where were you, my friend? We've been wait looking for you. Well, as I was saying, tonight is the perfect moment for our next meeting, but I suspect someone outside our group is secretly surveilling us. Who is it, Anthony? My dear friends, it is Professor Glenn. Glenn? Glenn. You mean Father Ernest? Certainly. No doubt about it. Therefore, dear colleagues, I've decided to change the venue for tonight's meeting. Have you noticed the lounge behind the small door of the classroom? I have believed convenient I've, to borrow the keys for our necessities. You already know, at midnight, you will find the door opened, and I'll be inside the lounge. That is it, my dearest colleagues. And I can't say that, even begin to say it. Okay, so what's in here? We just keep, now it's empty. Okay. bed where I used to sleep when I was a student here. Mr. Rabbit was jumping through the forest in a warm spring afternoon. When going through a bush, Mr. Rabbit ran into Mr. Wolf, Mr. Vulture, and Mrs. Snake, who were having a heated argument. Oh, I really don't want to go into the Blood Red Corridor. Mr. Rabbit, cur curious, asks them, Dearest, why are you behaving, arguing in this beautiful and cheerful spring afternoon? <coughs> Mr. Wolf answered politely, What we are trying to decide here is who of us will have the pleasure to eat you up. 
Mr. Rabbit, really scared, said, But I do not want to be eaten. I want to live. go back? I can't. Oh, well. Mr. Vulture added, Mr. Snake is right. We should stick to the issue at hand. It's getting late, and you see, we do not agree. Do you want to help us decide, Mr. Rabbit? Who would you suggest as the one to eat you? Now, I can totally see something right there. After thinking about it for a while, Mr. Rabbit came up with an idea and carefully said, I got it. Why not organize a race? The first who arrives to the forest clearing will have the privilege to eat me. No doubt Mr. Wolf can run at high speed, but Mr. Vulture can go flying and avoid any obstacle. And I'm sure that Mrs. Snake knows all the shortcuts within the forest. What do you think? Oh, that's not creepy at all. The three predators agreed that it was fair, so they started the race and they quickly disappeared. <coughs> Mr. Rabbit, happy to trick them, started running at high speed in the opposite direction of the predators who, eager to prove their worth, didn't realize the trick. Mr. Rabbit was far away from there, and he finally felt safe, happy and proud of his cunning. But suddenly there was a loud bang. The earth shook, frightened birds flew, and everything went dark. Oh, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Go, 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 go. Oh, what? There was something I kept to myself for. The first time I saw you, the first time I felt your frozen hands. Corpse. Each time I move away from you, I miss your classy, empty, dead eyes. A heartwarming tale, ladies and gentlemen, about a young necrophiliac. I miss your rough hair, your cringe skin and stench. But our love just cannot be. It is an impossible love. Quite heartwarming. <laughs> in the nightmare, I found a place, a place in my memories. Okay. So I went this way in the dream, which means that I should go this way in real life, because that's what we're up to. Okay. So, and it was back here. In my disturbing nightmare, I was brought to this spot. The trapdoor I saw in my nightmare. From here spouts a horrible stench. There is something down there. Okay. I guess this is where we end the suffering. It's gonna be a zombie. It's gonna be a zombie. I know it. Rest in peace. Okay. There we go. For whatever reason, my mouse stopped working for a second there. The decayed corpse of a young woman. The 
walls are splattered with dried blood. <sighs> Punctual's always devit. Now all that remains is to introduce our guest. You may come in now, Professor. Father Ernest. Don't worry, my friend. I invited him to join us this evening. The professor genuinely shares our curiosity, and who better to complete our group than one of the most renowned theologists? Moreover, we mustn't ban those who are willing to explore beyond the veil. The moment we have all long we have long awaited has now arrived. Please, all of you, take a seat, and we shall begin the procedure. Soon shall the door be open, and then may we finally see what lies beyond. Never a good idea. Now. I ask that you close your eyes. You will feel a momentary prick as I inject you with the serum. What did you children do? What? Even after all these years, I've not forgotten your voice. You are the fourth witness. I remember, I remember now what happened. What is that we saw? The eye of the bird, malum in se, evil in itself. What happened to us? What is it that we witnessed? You must tell me, I cannot make... You must make me understand what my mind cannot fathom. It was our curiosity that damned us. We opened that which should not be opened. It's total Lovecraft. In doing so, we shorn the veil that separated our world from his. In seeking vision, we were ourselves seen by the eye of the bird. It remembers us. It looks for us, and it calls us from its dark nest, from its abominable lair. All these years I have attempted to return to it, but I have no strength left. These poor wretched creatures are too fragile. They lack the sight to return. Not one of them has. Only us, the four witnesses. Who are the other two? Where are they? They disappeared as you did. I haven't heard from any of you, but I was seized by curiosity. It absconded with my faith and deprived me of sanity. O oh Lord, forgive me, for I have sinned. Nothing remains. All that left, that is left is surrender. Surrender to him. Gravely we have sinned, and now our whole only absolution is to burn. Burn in the flames. Whoa! I knew it. It was the, the, the handyman all along. Oh, crap. He's totally burying me. The adventure continues in episode three. Not bad. Not quite as much, you know, jump scariness in this one, but, uh, well, definitely a few moments there. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed, and if you have, a comment or a like would be most appreciated. You see, it's your feedback that lets me know how to best allocate my time to the things that you want to see. If you click on any of the links around here, you'll be taken to a playlist with more of that particular brand of madness. And be sure to subscribe so that you can always be the first to know when I have some new content out. Thank you very much, and I'll see you around.